concept is determinants of demand. 2.8.4 What do you mean by determinants? Determinants are the factors which influence the demand. Determinants are factors which influence the demand. So what are the factors which influence demand? First one is changes in taste and fashion. Suppose if there is a change in your taste or change in my taste. So long I have been wearing a sari. Now I have a taste to wear modern clothes. So what do I do? I stop buying sari and I start buying fashionable modern clothes. So when there is a change in the taste or when there is a change in a fashion. What do you mean by fashion? Nowadays, uh, if for example, if you take blouses, those days all the blouses were very simple. But nowadays you see the blouses, they have lots of cuts, lots of chamikis, lot of works, embroidery work. The fashion has changed. So people want to buy or stitch blouses like that. In those days when we buy sari, we have to buy blouses separately. But nowadays, along with the sari itself, you get the blouse. So people prefer to wear or buy saris like that. So when the fashion changes, similarly girls, in those days they had only half sari and churidar. Nowadays they have gagra choli, they have midi, they have mini, jeans, okay, patiala. What all fashions you have? So, when the fashion or the taste changes, there will be increase in demand. Then when there is a change in the weather, changes in the weather, usually dry summer results in an increase in the demand for cold drinks. When it is very, very hot during summer, people like to have cold drinks and ice cream. Have you seen people wearing raincoats during summer? Nobody will wear raincoats. So, the demand for raincoats during summer season will decrease. Whereas during rainy season, there will be an increase in the demand for raincoats and umbrellas. People who like to have sweater when it is very cold. When it is hot, nobody wears sweaters. If you wear like that, then you will be considered as a fool. If I wear, I will be considered as a fool. Is it not? So when there is a change in the weather, people try to buy more of a particular product which can be used in that particular season. Taxation and subsidy this is not in girls there is a mistake here it is taxation and subsidy if fresh taxes are levied or the existing rates of taxation on commodities increases then there will be an increase in the price if uh, to buy a particular product you have to uh, pay more tax then the price increases when the price increases what happens the demand falls down correct so when price increases the demand reduces if there is a subsidy, subsidy means from some discount or incentive given by the government, people tend to buy more. So when there is a subsidy, there will be an increase in demand. When there is over taxation, there will be a decrease in demand. Changes in expectations. What do you mean by edirparpugal? Nalaki vela yeri rumo. Nalaki kadayala mudichina. Enala vanga mudiado. Apa iniki pe vangirla. Gold vela increase aite irke 3000, 4000, 5000. Apa yempulla kalayan the kapan jasti vela ayirmo. Adi kini ke na mangi vachikra. That is only called as expectations. Expectations also brings about a change in the demand. Expectation of a rise in price in future results in an increase in the demand today. If you feel that there is going to be a price increase tomorrow, your demand today will increase. Changes in saving. Savings and demand have an inverse relationship. Otherwise, savings and demand are inversely related. What do I mean by that? When a person starts saving, that means he is spending less. That means his demand is decreasing. So, if your saving increases, your demand decreases. If, uh, if I am earning 10,000 rupees, and if I want to buy, uh, and if I want to save 9,000 rupees, what happens to my consumption? It is only 1,000 rupees. That means for 1,000 rupees only, I am buying goods. In case I save only 1,000 rupees, that means my spending expenditure will be 9,000. That means I am demanding more. So, 
savings and demand are inversely related when your savings go up your demand decreases when the saving decreases your demand increases state of trade activity during the periods of boom and prosperity the demand for all commodity tends to increase if the economic cycle or if the face of an economic cycle is in a boom or if there is prosperity all over people are employed people are drawing lot of income then the demand increases think of the period during the lockdown covid and corona crisis lockdown what happened the state of act, uh, trade activity was very dull it was in the recession phase so many people lost their jobs income went down drastically so the consumption also decreased so during the period of boom and prosperity demand for commodities will increase on the contrary during the time of depression there is a general slackening of demand there will be a decrease in the demand advertisement what happens you will be just sitting in front of the tv you will not have a desire to buy a soap or a shampoo suddenly someone comes and says oh i use this soap and see my complexion i have become fair all my pimples have gone my dark spots have gone immediately you will ask your father appa enakku and the soap vaangi kuduthirunga adu pota color aayiranga nanum color aayiruven summa da tv program munal ukkandrunga advertisement ah paathone nammalku and the soap aladhu na indha shampoo poten idu mudi karugaru karun valandichu paarengale ore maasathula nu or advertisement kaatpaanga immediately we will run to the shop to buy that particular brand of shampoo so advertisements increases our demand okay by simply seeing the advertisement we have a craving to buy all the commodities changes in income i think you would have understood this if there is an increase in the income there will be an increase in the demand if my income increases my consumption also increases if my income reduces my consumption also decreases changes in population if there is a increase in the population the demand will also increase if there is a decrease in the population the demand will also decrease uh, imagine in your house if there are only two children okay or if there are only two people in the house your mother can make a very little rice or very little curry or very little idli or dosa if there are 10 people in your house the demand will be more so if there is a increase in the population the demand increases if there is a decrease in the population then there is a decrease in the demand next let us see uh, the exception to the law of demand exception to the law of demand so far i have been saying that the demand curve slopes downwards but here there is a uh, graph which shows that the demand curve slopes upwards this is only called as the exceptional demand curve எப்போதுமே டிமாண்ட் கவ் எப்படி இருக்கும் மேல இருந்து கீழ் நோக்கி சரிந்து செல்லும் இட் ஸ்லோப்ஸ் டவுன்வர்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த லெஃப்ட் டு த ரைட் பட் ஹியர் த டிமாண்ட் ஸ்லோப்ஸ் அப்வர்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த லெஃப்ட் டு த ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் ஓன்லி கால்ட் அஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் ஸ்லோப் இதுக்கு பேர் தான் என்னது பாசிட்டிவ் ஸ்லோப் ஸோ நார்மலி த டிமாண்ட் கவ் ஸ்லோப்ஸ் டவுன்வர்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த லெஃப்ட் டு ரைட் பட் தேர் ஆர் சம் அன்யூஷுவல் டிமாண்ட் கவ்ஸ் which do not obey the law and the reverse occurs reverse la nadu apdi opposite downward ku badala upward a fall in the price brings about a contraction of demand and a rise in the price result in the extension of the demand can you understand here there is a fall in the price so there is a fall in the demand contraction means fall in decreases there is a rise in the price price increases so there is a increase in the demand this is only called as exceptional demand curve therefore the demand curve slopes upwards from the left to the right it is known as exceptional demand curve now look at this graph on the x axis you have the quantity and on the y axis you have the price when the price is p1 a person is buying q1 when the price is p1 the person is buying q1 so this is the point now the price increases from p1 to p2 the price has increased from p1 to p2 so there is a increase in the price but what happens here the demand also increases from q1 to q2 
so this is a new point first e was the uh, equilibrium price and quantity met here now this is the new point okay so this demand curve slopes upwards purinjadama price increase aagudhu p1 lende p2 ku price increase aagudhu demand actually price increase aichana korainu na solli kudutten ana inga pathina demand q1 lende q2 ku increase aagudhu idhukku per da exceptional demand curve thevai kotin vidhi vilakku generally it increases but here it it's just the opposite okay so eppala adu nadakum five uh, side headings they have given the first one is called as giffen's paradox second one is veblen effect third is ignorance fourth is speculative effect and fifth is the fear of shortage so these are the exception for the demand curve see these are the reasons so giffen paradox it was found by sir giffen robert giffen so it is named after robert giffen as giffen's paradox paradox and the muran part opposite nadakudhu vela koodudhu ana theva vandu koraiyukku bada thevaiyum koodudhu idhu da muran part ye apdi nadakudhu that's why it is called as paradox the giffen good or the inferior good so these goods are called as giffen goods or they are also called as the inferior goods is an exception to the law of demand when the price of an inferior good falls the poor will buy less and vice versa so what do you mean by inferior goods generally pathinga the ragi kambu cholam idella inad yelegal vaangirathu vela kammiya irukum annala avanga adha dhaan vaanguvaanga rice vaanga maatanga okay arsi vaanga vela jaasti ana inga illa agudhu ragi kambu cholathinde vela jaasti aagumbodhu poor people adhe poi vaangraanga this is only called as giffen's paradox next one is veblen effect or demonstration effect so this was given by veblen so it is named after him veblen effect veblen has explained the exceptional demand curve through his doctrine of conspicuous consumption rich people buy certain goods because it gives them social distinction or prestige certain rich people just for the sake of prestige or banda அது காட்டுறதுக்காக என்ன பண்ணுறது விலை ஏற ஏற அந்த பொருளை நிறைய போய் வாங்குறது அந்த ப்ரைஸ் ஆஃப் த டைமண்ட் இன்க்ரீஸஸ் த ரிச் பீப்புள் வில் பை டைமண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ தட் அதர்ஸ் வில் திங்க் ஓ மை காட் இவங்கள பாருங்களேன் விலை ஏறும் போது டைமண்ட் வாங்கிட்டு வந்திருக்காங்க டைமண்ட் தோடு வாங்கியிருக்காங்க டைமண்டில் நெக்லஸ் வாங்கியிருக்காங்க டைமண்டில் மோட்ரம் வாங்கியிருக்காங்க ஸோ தி திஸ் கிவ்ஸ் தம் அ சார்ட் ஆஃப் சாட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்ஷன் த ரிச் பீப்புள் so what they do is when the price increases they go and buy certain goods so as price increases they demand more of that product example is diamond so first one given paradox is for inferior goods this is done by the poor people here veblen effect is for the rich people next is ignorance people do not know the price or the uh, market condition and they go and buy as they like so sometimes the quality of the commodity commodity is judged by its price so people think if you give uh, more price that means you are buying a very superior good the quality is really good that is because of the ignorance so in that case the demand curve slopes upwards then speculative effect i already have explained this word speculative if the price of the commodity is increasing then the consumer will buy more of it because of the expectation that it will further increase okay so the price will further increase in due course so they want to buy more and more of the good today itself this is only called as speculative effect the last one is fear of shortage during times of emergency of war uh, before this lockdown also people were rushing to the stores to buy and store everything so what happened the prices increased and people were also demanding more they wanted to buy more food they wanted to buy more things and they want to stock up everything because of the lockdown so during times of emergency of war people may expect shortage of a commodity and so buy more so this happened during the covid pandemic people started the uh, uh, thinking that there will be a fear of shortage and they started buying vegetables so what happened the price of the vegetables just started soaring and in spite of that people were buying more and more and more so these are the reasons for exceptional demand curve hope you understood this girl first we uh, i explain the determinants of demand then we saw the reasons for the exceptional demand curve i think i will stop with this thank you girls